I spotted all kinds of summoned beasts, lions, serpents, sphinxes, and even some hippos charging through the enemy like tanks. Here and there hieroglyphs glowed in the air, causing explosions and earthquakes that destroyed Set's forces. But more demons just kept coming, surrounding the magicians in deeper and deeper ranks. I watched as one magician was completely overwhelmed, his circle broken in a flash of green light, and he went down under the enemy wave. This is the end of the house, Set said with satisfaction. They cannot prevail as long as my pyramid stands. The magicians seemed to know this. As they got closer, they sent fiery comets and bolts of lightning towards the pyramid, but each blast dissipated harmlessly against its stone slopes, consumed in the red haze of Set's power. Then I spotted a golden capstone. Four snake-headed giants had retrieved it and were carrying it slowly but steadily through the melee. Set's lieutenant, face of horror, shouted orders to them, lashing them with a whip to keep them moving. They pressed forward until they reached the pyramid's base and began to climb. I charged towards them, but Set intervened in an instant, placing himself in my path. I don't think so, Horace, he laughed. You won't ruin this party. We both summoned our weapons into our hands and fought with renewed ferocity, slicing and dodging. I brought my sword down in a deadly arc, but Set ducked aside and my blade hit stone, sending a shockwave through my whole body. Before I could recover, Set spoke a word. Howie! The hieroglyphs exploded in my face and sent me tumbling down the side of the pyramid. When my vision cleared, I saw a face of horror and the snake-headed giants far above me, lugging their golden load up the side of the mountain, only a few steps from the top. No, I muttered. I tried to rise, but my avatar form was sluggish. Then, out of nowhere, a magician catapulted into the midst of the demons and unleashed a gale of wind. Demons went flying, dropping the capstone, and the magician struck it with his staff, stopping it from sliding. The magician was Des Jardines. His forked beard and robes and leopard skin cape were singed with fire, and his eyes were full of rage. He pressed his staff against the capstone, and its golden shape began to glow. But before Des Jardines could destroy it, Set rose up behind him and swung his iron rod like a baseball bat. Des Jardines tumbled, broken and unconscious, all the way down the pyramid, disappearing into the mob of demons. My heart twisted. I'd never liked Des Jardines, but no one deserved a fate like that. Annoying, Set said, but not effective. This is what the House of Life has reduced itself to, eh, Horus? I charged up the slope, and again our weapons clanged together. We fought back and forth as gray lights began to seep through the cracks in the mountain above us.